Where'd it go? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> The historic William Tell House Saloon and Inn in Tamales has been a warm resting spot for travelers along Highway 1 for more than a century now. An executive chef and partner, Austin Perkins, is here this morning, and he has brought one of his signature dishes to share with us. Welcome to Bay Area Focus. Well, thank you for having us. Well, this all looks beautiful, but first, let's talk about this William Tell House. It's been around for a very long time. It's been around for a very long time, sort of in, in different um in different ways, but we've sort of gotten a hold of it and are trying to reinvigorate it as best we can. And it's still an inn, so people can still come in. It's still an inn. You can come sit at our bar all day long and go right upstairs. Um, and we we invite people to book online and, and come stay with us. It's a great place to eat and drink and, and stay. Let's talk about the history of the house first. Sure. Yeah, so it's been around since the late 1800s. It's been around since 18, 18, the late 1800s. It survived the 1906 earthquake. Um, it, sort of. And at the time, the city of Tamales was actually one of the bigger towns in Marin County, which nobody really knows about, mm -hmm. um, and was devastated by the 1906 earthquake. So we, um, we have sort of a remaining building in back that is, is very old, and then a newer, newer sort of turn of the century building that um, we've been rehabbing now. Yeah, it looks it looks like a great building. One thing that uh, you really want to focus on too is bringing in local food. Yeah, I mean, I think that there? sure and local to San Francisco is sort of like our backyard. So okay. we're really blessed to have ingredients. Most of our ingredients come from five miles from where we are, which is, I mean, you, nobody can say that. And right. we're really blessed from a culinary perspective to take that and make delicious food with it. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, well, what did you bring today? Because it all looks so wonderful. So we're doing our signature seafood chowder today, and. Um, Every ingredient in here is local. So really, um, leeks and celery and potatoes, onions from David Little, a gentleman that is literally right up the road, who will come in and hang out at our bar, um, eat the chowder while we're there. So we really, it's more than local, it's, it's on site. Um, clams and mussels from Tamales Bay, rock cod from Bellinas. It comes from a company called Two by Sea, which is incredible. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we sort of take these raw ingredients add a really basic roux to it. So it's not like that thick New England clam chowder you're used to. Mm -hmm. um, it's more of a thin sort of really flavorful broth um, and then fresh shellfish in it. So you don't, you don't think of the canned Progresso chowder. Sure. This is, this is a, a real dish. I mean, this place and the food, it seems like something for everybody because you have foodies who want to come up there. You also have, you know, history nuts who want to we do. come in. And, and then if you want a nice drink. Uh, and great <laughs> drinks. I, I mean, the bar is incredible. Um, we're right down the road from Dillon Beach, so people can come up for the day and bring their dogs, go walk the beach, come to us, have a drink, and, and you stay or, or go home or, you know, make yeah. a weekend out of it. Just kind of hang out. Hang out. Um, the, the locals, they call it, what, the Tell House? They call it the Tell. The Tell. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, we, we have so many names, but it's, it's been the William Tell House from the beginning, and, and we decided to keep that name. Um, which is great because it's not too far away from, you know, the bigger cities, San Francisco, Oakland. It's not. You drink. feel it's about a 45 minute drive and you feel like you're a million miles away. I mean, it, it, we have people say it reminds them of Cape Cod and, and yeah. being people have never been there. And it's so close. You know, you're still in the 415 area code and it just feels like you're a million miles away. And it's really cool because you guys have not only rehabbed the place um, because it looks amazing with keeping it kind of like historic, too, though. You're yeah, keeping it's, a, it in it's a roadhouse. Yeah, but you've <laughs> completely revamped the menu. We have. And, and so, I mean, from a culinary perspective, trying to modernize what, what was there before and take what we have around us and really make it special. How did you come up with this menu? I mean, you've been there for uh, a year now. We've been there for a year. Yeah. I mean, it's sort of a classic roadhouse vibe. And, that, and we didn't want to get too far into the culinary world with that. We want it to be approachable to everybody, yeah. um, from, from kids to day passersby to people that are really so, sort of you know, focused on food. Um, and I think we were able to do that. We have sort of simple things that we, we take a modern twist on and, and make better. All right. Well, it all looks so amazing. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you. You can come on the show anytime, especially <laughs> if you're bringing food. We can do that. All right. That sounds good to me. And be sure to check out William Tell House or The Tell, as the locals say. It's located on Highway 1 in Tamales. And for information, you can just go to the website, williamtellhouse.com. Coming up, a swinging holiday and the Nutcracker Suite and more magic from the Champions of Magic when Bay Area Focus returns in a moment. Richie, why don't you show me how I can win at poker and make some money? You just need two cards. You don't even need all. You can get the Royal Flush. You need a nine and also a ten. To get the Royal Flush, you also need a jack and a queen. But to get the full house, you also need a king and an ace. 
that Fernando, they must have backs, otherwise people think you've been cheating. Ah. 